This is Halloween. And happy Halloween. Ian, the master of pieces, part-time eBay reseller here. Just popped down to Albany Road in Cardiff. I brought the kids along with me because we, we're looking for Halloween arts and crafts type stuff so we can get into the spirit of things later on this afternoon. But while we're here, I thought I'd pop into some charity shops. We went to Newport in the week and I felt it was a little bit meh. There was lots of items that I bought and some decent profit in there, but nothing really exciting. So today, I wanna to focus on some bits for my collection, some nice retro collectibles, and obviously some other bits that we can resell on eBay. At the end of the video, I'll show you what's been selling so far on eBay this weekend as well. Let's get into it. Couple of PS1 games tucked in here. Championship bass. Got a talk of touring cars. Three quid, I've got that one already. What's that one, nuclear strike, three quid. First pickup of the day, retro Crash Bandicoot Platinum Edition. Case is absolutely ruined. The disc looks pretty good though. It was only three quid. What a score? How to Train Your Dragon, Build a Bear. Eight quid though. Look at this cool Batman. Tenor. And on there we got a couple of Funko Pops. I had a look at this one. Looked at the soles on this one. Harry Potter number one. Six quid. I mean, that's bang on sold to a cool figure. Just having a look in the glass window. We've got Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on Game Boy Color. And a bag of Smurfs for a fiver. Some of those old Smurfs, they can go for a nice amount of money each. I'm going to get them, I think. What have you found in the box, boys? Charizard. Charizard. There he is there. What was he, four pounds? He should have a little flame piece, I think, in there. That's missing though. But still, a Charizard for four quid, you've got to be picking that up. Now I thought these would have been the first pickup. They're by a brand called Geox. Never heard of it before. The sales aren't particularly strong just on the brand, but look, it's a Red Bull Racing branded pair. Formula One team. The bottom's pretty worn. The edges are coming away. And they're seven quid. If they were two, three quid, definitely pick them up. Just because of the Red Bull Racing brand, but the condition, they're gonna be a tough sell for any reasonable amount of profit. Love going through a box full of bag toys. Lots of cars. Oh daddy, I see a frog. Got a little frog in there. Hang on, is that a little micro machine behind it? A little monster truck in there. You can't see anything that's really worth oh, Daddy, Two pound fifty a bag. Daddy, Transformer. Is that a Transformer? Now we'll leave those today. Mm. Nice pair of Converse All Stars here. Like a light brown colour, mushroom colour. Converse All Star on the back. Six pound fifty. I mean, that's a reasonable price. If you're coming in here buying for yourself, that's a reasonable price. Not going to be enough profit in there though for me to sell. A couple of Funko Pops tucked in the basket here. Sapper off Blade Runner. And American Gods. Mad Sweeney. He looks like Sam Sell stuff, doesn't he? Cool Funko Pop. Now I've not seen one of these before. It's like a Lego minifigure plush. This is of a bumblebee. And it just caught my eye. Popped out on the shelf, official Lego tag there. Sold on these 10 to 15 based on condition. I paid a fiver for this. I'll be aiming for 12 pounds plus potions, something like that. Got some serious transformer figures here. Large bumblebee, large optimus. Things like this, I don't think they fit well in the collection. They don't transform big, plasticky, not much quality there. Action Man, War Machine. Look at this dude here. I'm gonna have a look, I'm gonna look him up on Google Lens. So this guy is called K2SO, off of Star Wars. Just a really weird, awkward, gangly figure. But solds are looking like 10 to 15 plus postage. No price on him. But I should be able to get him for a couple of quid, I reckon. And tucked on the bottom shaft down here, we've got a pair of Hocker 
Pro FL. These are, it says 1-1 one, one on the tongue. If you search solds on those, there are absolutely loads of them. The sell through rate is fantastic. It does say sold as seen, but I think it's just because they're a bit dirty. A little bit of wear on the bottoms. They have been worn, obviously. But they're size 11 and a half. So they're massive, £6.50. Oh, we're getting them. We're getting them. A couple of other bits I picked up in the charity shops but didn't show you. I found this Monopoly Canto edition. I paid up for it. I paid 10 quid, but I was thinking this could go into my personal collection. And actually, I did think this was a lot older than it is. This one's from 2017. See it on the side there? It does say complete. I've opened it up and had a check. I do like these metal figures. So look at these. Look. These are pretty cool. So even though it was £10, I'm not going to lose any money on it. Sales are about 15 to 16 quid plus postage. Not much profit in it. I'm still undecided if I'll keep it. I've not found a decent transformer for a while in the shops. This one is a classic style Grimlock. I quite like it. It's got lots of red light pipe in there. Should have a gun on the back there. Again, I paid up for this. I paid a tenner for this and it's pretty faded. You can see it's all um, sun damaged. Solds, you're looking about 17, 18 pounds plus postage with the gun. Again, I haven't lost any money on this. Not too much profit. Then I come across these bits. Check this out. Three pound sold as seen, but I did open it up and I counted all the bits and I cross checked it against the instructions. This is an old one. From 1995, 100% complete. The sell through rate on these are pretty terrible. They range from 10 to 20 pounds plus postage. Not a bad find, that's heavy mind, that's heavy. Found this as well there. Manchester United Snowman Plush. This is from 1997. People have got these listed up for about 15 quid plus postage. None of them have sold. This one, six or seven quid plus postage. That's what I'm going to aim for because I only paid a pound. And then because we're getting into the season, brand new and sealed, Slater and Bells Jigsaw, Christmas Jigsaw, thousand piece, a limited edition, paid four quid, should sell for six or seven quid plus postage, probably not worth picking up, didn't have any phone signal, I, I bought it because it's got these like metallic bits in it, I thought that would be enough to make this unique enough for people to pay up for it, I guess not, but anyway, again, no money lost. Project Games. One absolute legend. Everyone jump over to his Instagram account, give him a follow. He was out charity shopping in Carmarthen and stumbled across this. Rescued it. Sent me a message to ask whether I wanted it for my collection. And of course I did. From 1987, this is a Ultra Magnus 100-piece jigsaw. What you do is you build... Hang on, let me spin you around. What you do is you build this flat puzzle. You flip the puzzle over... And then on the back of the puzzle, there are the individual pieces there that you pop out and you can either build that or that. What an amazing toy. What an amazing jigsaw puzzle. It's Project Games, thanks ever so much for thinking of me. And of course, this will be going straight into my collection. You just do not see stuff like that very often. So I've got six sales on eBay to show you from Wednesday and Thursday. Some really nice items here. First item, keep an eye out for the brand NECA. When I say NECA, that is the brand there. They make fantastically detailed toys, particularly pop culture characters. In this case, Harry Potter. There he is in there, comes with a little wand. Brand new in box, although the box is a little bit tatty and a collector is gonna wanna know everything about the box. If they're paying top price, they want to know where the creases are, where the damage is. So this box has been photoed way more than what that figure was. 20 quid, all in for that one. Next up, sold another model plane. This is a Hella Humbra plane, Boeing 727 in the Alitalia livery. But I've also thrown in another sticker set for Air France so the buyer can choose which one that they put on. That's gone for £18.50 plus postage. Box is absolutely terrible. You can see massively caved there. That's all ripped, but still sealed inside. So yeah, someone's got a really nice model there. And I think I've sold about half of these planes from that big bundle, well into profit, and they are flying out. 
Next up, these are a great pair of shoes. Check these out. These are by a company called Innovate, and I'd never heard of them. Uh, but if you see them in the shop, they're going to pop out to you. You want to be searching those up. Innovate, classic pair of powerlifting shoes. Flat on the bottom, little raise up there, big strap over the top. I always look at powerlifting shoes as well. So combine Innovate and powerlifting, you've got a nice product. They've gone for £50 plus postage. Size UK 7.5. What a cool colour. Small Soldiers. Brick Bazooka from 1998. Look at his grin on him there, look. Not the best looking figure. I think he looks a little bit creepy. And look at this motion here. You flick him over and he turns into a big bazooka. Missing the missile, but still got the sticker on there. He's gone for £13.50 plus postage. And the final sale. No, it's not. Two more sales to show you. This, this was a good sale. A surprising sale. What I've got in here is 12 Papo medieval figures. Really strange figures. You know, I've got... All, all types of characters, rhino in there. There's a unicorn, what's this? Some knights, totem pole. The reason I'm showing you all of this is there's 12 different medieval figures. And I have those listed up for 50 quid all in. Not a bad price actually. Someone offered me 30 quid. I counted me halfway, 40 pounds they've sold. Paid 10 pounds for that bundle, nice bit of profit. And the final sale is this one here. We have got a Contour Roller Mouse Pro 3. It's basically an ergonomic mouse. Set it in front of your laptop there. This little bar you use to control the um, arrow. Up, down, left, right, click it in. Lots of different buttons in there. USB mouse, anything like this. People are gonna want this for their home offices, aren't they? That's gone for 25 quid plus postage. Paid a pound in the charity shop because they hadn't tested it. They didn't know if it was working. I took the risk. I've tested it. It is working. But I think that this might be a bit of trouble. This only sold Thursday evening, right? And the, and the buyer messaged me straight away and said, by the way, I have just paid. When can you get it in the post? Well, my listing clearly states I've got a three day dispatch time. It's Thursday. So really, I could be posting this off Monday in line with my dispatch time. But because of all the strike action going on, I told her that I will post this tomorrow. Will I get any thanks? Probably not. Will I get constant? Where are my item messages? Probably. But it's a nice bit of profit and hopefully worth the hassle. Five sales to show you Friday. Let's get them. First up, I only picked these up Wednesday from Newport. Get them in, get them listed, get them sold. Pair of red, high top Converse. Gave them a little bit of a clean, but there were some marks that I just couldn't get off. Didn't really hamper the price. £14.50 plus postage for those. Next up, we are going to the board games. Not sold a board game for a while. Just shift that one well out of the way because that's when we want there. Screwball Scramble, right at the bottom. I do pick this up when I see it, but I don't like to have too many in stock. So I have actually passed the last couple. Now this is sold, I will be picking more up. This one has gone for eight pounds plus postage. Pretty cheap actually, because it doesn't have the ball bearing, but everything else is intact. Let's bring these over to the packing area. Because I've bought a card in from inside. Have a look at this. 1995 Fleer Metal Carnage off of Spider-Man. Only an MGC7, but a really nice looking card. If you can catch the light right, looks awesome. That one's gone for £16.50 plus postage. But remember, when you take into account eBay fees, cost of grading is about a tenner. Probably only made five or six quid on that. But still, nice to have stuff like that up on the eBay store. A four gig Apple iPod Silver. Scratched to death on the back. There's a bit of a dent down there as well, but I have charged it up and it does work. That one's gone for £18.50 plus postage. We'll grab Yoshi down from there. And this little Care Bear here. So, shout out to Jane who a couple of videos ago spotted this huge Yoshi plush that I picked up. Message me on Instagram. Her son is a big Yoshi plush collector. They had to have this for, for their collection. And then she saw this for one of her friends. 1983, that's from. Pretty nice condition, considering the age. We come to a price for both of those. So, Jade, these will be on their way to you tomorrow. And we'll just grab this cap from up here. 
Now this time around I had a message from Sarah after my Newport video where I picked up all of these hats she was like I've got to have that gizmo one. Message me on Instagram again. I sent through a few pictures, made an eBay listing, she jumped on and bought this one. So Sarah and Jane thank you so much for supporting the YouTube channel and the eBay business and I really hope you enjoy these. Oof, nice little late night sale. I'm just putting away all the packaging materials and then this one comes in. Disney Store Snow Globe and you can see in there Tinkerbell. Let's give her a shake. Have a look at that. Looks great, doesn't it? Now brand new, this would have been 18 quid and I think it is discontinued. I sold that one for £14.50 plus postage. And that is all the Christmas decorations that I've got listed sold. I do have a couple more to go. I'm gonna be listing them this weekend. So I hope you enjoy this little Halloween video. I got a busy night tonight actually, as well as being my eBay space, this is our family garage. So time to bring in all the summertime furniture, all the kids, bikes and scooters, all of that. It's all got to go in here. So I'm going to have a big sort out in here, rearrange it all to make sure we got enough space. But guys, I'll catch up with you next Wednesday for some more charity shopping where we'll go around and find some bits, maybe for the collection, but more importantly, stuff to resell on eBay for profit. I'll also show you all the souls as always. Don't forget, hit that like, hit that subscribe. See you later, guys. Boom. <laughs>